Throughout the 20th century, South Africa was brutalized by systematic oppression and the apartheid government, which forced the separation of racial groups. The white minority regime controlled the vast wealth of the country, oppressed the majority of its people and forced them out of areas they declared for whites only. Can you imagine being restricted with your life? You are being told how to live your life. The racial situation was so bad. It was so bad. From the moment that I could really think for myself and see what was going on, it became an upbringing of great pain and conflict. There was the one group of children that came from the most impoverished area, and I used to go and sing with them. Sharon was willing to come to our location, and yet white people never thought of doing that in those days. Mandela had just been released from prison and I was inspired to do something that had never been done before. Unite children from all racial groups into one huge choir to blend our voices together and express optimism and hope for the future of our country. never seen so many people of different colors in the same place at the same time. We took the message back to our schools, you know what, I said I've got white friends, I've got Indian friends, and I've got uh, colored friends. After the success of the first show, it just struck me, we have to take this message all over the country now. We need to travel by train. These children had not been part of the peace train. I shudder to think what might have happened to them. Choo, choo.